this is the one that I feel has got something attached to it. So I have a huge announcement for you guys. If you love winning money and you like my videos, then this is for you. I wanna give back to all my loyal supporters and I am posting videos on the Swagit app and they're hosting a $1,000 giveaway. And all you need to do is to download the Swagit app, follow at Mosarji, the links are gonna be down below, and be active on my page. That's it, it's very simple. I'm gonna be posting free videos on the Swagit app and in one month we're gonna be doing a $1,000 giveaway. Now if you guys remember in the summertime we did the video with Steve the Clown where I shot him with a bow and arrow but I couldn't post it to YouTube because it was too gruesome it was too real and the dude literally got shot with a bow and arrow now I was able to upload that clip that footage that video of me shooting Steve with the bow and arrow dropping him down to the ground I uploaded on my exclusives app the most Sarge app but a lot of you guys can't afford to get the app and a lot of you guys really wanted to see this footage so here's what I'm doing I'm gonna be uploading the uncensored footage of me shooting Steve the clown on my profile on swag it which is called Mo Sarge. The links are going to be down below. You guys can download it right now and you guys can watch it there for free. And I'm also going to be posting more uncensored stuff throughout the coming weeks on the app. Swag it is a short form video app where I'm going to be posting behind the scenes content that you won't see anywhere else. And there's going to be a $1,000 giveaway. Who's ready for that money? You can literally win $1,000 just by downloading the app. So what are you waiting for? Download it right now. Follow me at Mo Sarge. I want to see thousands of you guys there right now. Loyal sergeants, where are you? It's very simple. The more I see you guys comment, commenting on my videos and the more active that I'm seeing you guys on the actual swag it up at most Sarge on my page the better chance that you have to win just click the link in the comments download the swag it up for free and follow me at most Sarge make sure to keep coming back to the app to see my videos and there will be periodically some hints and clues into winning that thousand dollars if you still don't know what swag it is swag it is a fun family friendly short form video app the cool thing about swag it is you can make your own accounts and upload your own videos and earn money doing so you get points for joining and you can gift points to your favorite creator and you actually earn double the points by doing so. You can even exchange your points for gift cards and PayPal cash. No one else is doing this. This is cool. This is a chance for you guys to make more money just by being on an app. I can't really say any more than this. I want you guys to really check it out. I want you guys to win money. Like, I love you guys. You guys do so much for me. You watch my videos. You show me so much support. Show my family so much support. All my channels, you guys show me so, many, so much support and I really just want to give back to you guys in any way possible. There's the giveaway. There's also earning points and all the bonuses that you get from this app. So it's a win-win situation for you guys. The more you're on the app, the more you're earning points, the more you're following me and you're showing me support, the more you have a chance to win this giveaway. So it's gonna be great. Okay, what are you still doing here? Click the link in the description below and I'll see you guys on Swaggit. I wanna see you all in the comments. I'm gonna be replying to a lot of you guys today. We are back with another paranormal adventure in the Great Stone Manor. This place is one of my favorite haunted b and to film in and we're gonna be sleeping here tonight. I just have myself, my cameraman Moshi, and we have all the spirits of this beautiful place. Look at this, guys. There is a dude, literally, chilling in this old casket. This is a real casket that they would carry bodies in back in the day to the funeral homes and back. Um, there's so much going on in this place. There's a lot of paranormal. There's skinwalkers. There's UFO sightings. There's literally shadow figures everywhere, which I did capture on my last video that I did here. There's going to be B-roll shots. There is actual B-roll shots there. That clip that you've seen right there was not some like clip I got online or anything like that was real shadow figure that I captured on camera. Many people that come here have seen shadow figures in the past, but no one's ever caught them on camera. I'm the only one and that's honestly a blessing. But at the same time, it's kind of scary because ever since we came in here today, um, I've been seeing things from the tip of my eye. We've actually had a curtain move in front of us, like, like aggressively move and uh, that's, the type of things that you would expect here inside of the Great Stone Manor here in Gasport, New York. Now Heather has graciously given us her entire house to ourselves tonight and yes we are going to be sleeping and yes we're going to keep cameras on us all night long. They're not going to be running all night long but we're going to have cameras on us and it's just going to be really terrifying. Last time I was here was with Omar oh Gosh TV and we captured so much paranormal. I'm excited to see what kind of stuff we're going to capture here today. So yeah these are the type of things that you're going to expect to see 
And dude, very scary. this is literally something they used to carry dead people in. Like this is- Like this is the official one? Like it's had dead people in it. Wow. And I've seen these things in, in castles before. It's crazy. Like, can you imagine someone's dead person was in here at one point? It's a weird aura, man. Like, well, there's, keep in mind, there's a lot of taxidermied animals as well. Yeah. Back in the day, they used to, to do that. And, you know, the taxidermy. Uh, what do we call this guy? Bambi? Let's call him Bambi. Or Bambi's grandpa. Bambi's grandpa? Bambi's grandpa, exactly. And, you know, when you're renting out this B&B, you can actually come down here and play pool, which is cool. Oh, actually? Yeah, this is all part of the experience. So one of the main reasons why I drove five hours from Canada all the way to Gasport, New York today is because of the monkey that's upstairs inside of this place. Last time we were here, this monkey just came to life. Yes, you heard me right. A freaking monkey, a chimpanzee. They have a lot of taxidermy like baboons in here, but this one is not re real. It's a robotic monkey. It's over 25 years old. It, it hasn't played or hasn't done anything in 25 years. But when I showed up here with Omar in the summertime, this thing started going crazy. It started making so many weird noises. Things started to happen. And then Heather hit me up and she's like, hey, what the heck's going on? That thing should not be going off. There's no batteries in it. It's pretty much dead. It's inert. It doesn't work. That's why I brought in Heather to show us and talk to us a little bit about the monkey. Okay guys, I'm here with Heather. You guys all remember her from the last video. We're back here at her home, the Greystone Manor. It's also a B&B which you guys can rent out. I'm gonna leave their link in the description below. Now, you guys remember when I came here with Omar, the monkey started to go off on its own. And when, when I posted that video, a lot of you were a bit skeptic about it. Like, hey, that's probably a battery powered monkey. Now I said the same thing, but Heather hit me up in the DMs and she's like, Mo, that monkey does not have power to it. I've had him for probably 25 years. He's very old, old little uh, probably season for Halloween. And um, he is a radio control. He has a little control that goes with him. And he is, um, he is uh, battery powered. Like he'll go off, he's a sensor. But we haven't used him in over five years. And I think he may have batteries in him, but they're that old at that the very least. We've, we've had him in this room the whole time we've lived here. So before I take you guys in there to show you the monkey again with Heather, um, so throughout all these years or whatever with this monkey, has he mm. ever gone off for investigations? Not that I'm aware of, no. And, pe um, and people, like how frequently do people investigate this place? Pretty frequently, I would say at least once a week or so we've had people in. And then people who stay overnight, if they just want to stay for just like a regular B&B &B stay, we let you investigate if you want. We'll give you even equipment, we'll give you K2 meters and stuff. So That's people so will cool. sort of go around, they'll investigate, but this room is called the Vortex Room. There's a little boy spirit in here. He's very interactive. The little monkeys with the symbols go off all the time in let's here. Go, let's go check him out. So yeah, so, yeah, so it's crazy. A lot of you guys in the comments were like, Mo, you probably did that, you turned it on. We didn't know, like it literally caught us by surprise. I, I have no idea why this went off by itself. It shouldn't. Hey monkey, wake up. If there are any little spirits in here that can make this monkey come to life, please do it right now. So that's so weird. Like for us, like it was almost instant. He's got a sensor mode. So there is a button on him. You can turn him on. He'll but, do like a little- But that's little... the thing though. We never touched the button. Like yeah. uh, we weren't even near it. We were on that side over there mm -hmm. when it started to go off. Oh, creepy. Like even the mask is what the f was that? Oh. Something just moved over here. Hello? Something just... <gasps> oh! oh! What? what oh my god! Like? Oh my god! The, the, did you just see that? Was it the curtain? Get the f monkey! Look what? at the monkey! The monkey? It just moved. I swear to god, I, th I saw it move. No. Oh! It opened his eyes! What? No clickbait? <laughs> Dude, it moved his head! Hey, monkey? It's a chimp. Yo, Tom, my boy, are you in the monkey? What is going on here? Dude, it's moving its head. It's moving its head. What the hell's going on? Hello? Oh! 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 oh bro, I fucking moved it. How is that happening? So, yeah. it's not like like. And the thing is, he's got a sensor and. You had to be standing in front of him to make him move, and then you guys were in the hallway, and he was still going off and moving. Like he shouldn't have been doing that either. Yeah, like, and, no and, then, and then, doing that. then the final noises that he made before he shut off, and like he wouldn't make noises anymore, mm -hmm. was like this weird noise, like almost sound like he was dying. Yeah. Hey, monkey, well, come to life. And the other thing, he's he's sort of like a headpiece, 
and I had to build the body for him because we used to use him in parades back in the day. We would do like this Halloween thing. Um, so he's got a heavy wooden frame that's got a brick ash in the bottom. So he's weighted down so he'll sit up. And he's all wired in. So to change his batteries, he's a huge pain in the butt. Like he, you have to take them all apart. Yeah, so this guy should not be like functional no. at all. No. I had no idea why the batteries are still. And, and you've also told us in the past that this monkey goes off. So yes, that. we've had these guys go off by themselves several times actually, which is super weird because there's no, he's really old, he winds up, but like he's not, I don't know. Well, we've definitely had him go. This is so cool guys, because like we're going to be here all night well, long. you had that happen when you're here with, before he went off, he did make a noise. I this thought. one? Yeah, because I, I remember hearing the chinky sound. The chink. I don't think we got that. I don't think I remember that one going off. I just remember that one, the big one. And that's why I kind of wanted to come back to this place is to to try to communicate with a freaking monkey. <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's real paranormal evidence. Like we actually caught a shadow figure in the kitchen downstairs. And Heather's been telling us that like many people see the shadow figure in the kitchen, which I myself saw the shadow figure, but in a human form throughout mm -hmm. the day, but I never got it on camera. But later on at nighttime, my camera got it. My eyes didn't get it, mm -hmm. but I was happy that I'm like literally the only one that's ever caught the shadow figure on camera. And it literally looks like a man coming out of the wall right behind Omar back when we were here. In this room, um, we call it the vortex room, and that's because the owners before us, her son, when this was his bedroom, had all kinds of issues in this room with the, there's a little boy spirit in here, was in the closet, and he was about four years old, and said that um, he'd wake up in the morning and tell his mom that there's a little boy who would come out of the closet, wake him up at night, sit on the bed and mess with him, um, want to wake, want to play, would try and wake him up, and he would complain about him all the time, and that's what we hear in here, we hear giggling, we've heard running, like the doorknobs, like we said about the doors, do not like when the doors are closed, he'll like jiggle the door handle and pop them open, so, and people feel dizzy in here, and that's the other weird thing, people will come in, they feel a little off, they don't feel right, they almost feel like they're being choked it's choked or suffocated it's I, I feel strange. suffocated i'm not even joking like i mm -hmm. actually feel suffocated being in here mm -hmm. what's the deal with that one over there that's what i want to know <laughs> that i don't remember I that don't... one being here last time yeah she, he's <laughs> i got him from a friend who owns a an antique store and she had this whole bin of old dolls and this guy was up on a shelf for the longest time and uh she I went there to get something else from her. She's like, do you want any dolls? She's just trying to get rid of some of these because they were just so bizarre. These are creeping her out. So clearly we have a ton of haunted objects in this house. The house itself is haunted. The property is haunted. There's been UFO sightings here. There's been skinwalker sightings here. There's so much going on at the Greystone Manor and we have a long night ahead of us. So yeah, guys, smash the like button. And if you guys want to come and experience this place for yourself, I'm going to leave all of Heather's information down below and you guys can check it out. Let's, let's investigate this place. We're going to be sleeping here. I'm even going to leave a camera in my bedroom. Even Moshi's going to have a camera in his bedroom. <laughs> yeah, can, can we sleep in the same bed? No, really? not going to happen. <laughs> he falls on people. He falls on people. Like people will be sitting on this down here asking questions. You know, they'll be asking. All of a sudden he'll just like fall off the ladder onto people. And they'll be here for like a half an hour. It's not like they just sat down, knocked him loose and he fell. You want to sleep on a bunk bed tonight? Like we'll share this room? Do you guys want to do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the dolls in here a bunch were actually donated to the house from people too who they said that they were my niece donated the little raggedy ann dolls and things like that so there are definitely some figures that were donated here this one here looks like i've seen a doll that looks very similar to this one um i think i actually might have one at home too because people send me stuff all the time right like haunted yeah. dolls and fan like, mail and it's like the herald the doll or whatever it just sort of looks like that. Mm. And it's just something sinister about this one. I don't know if you're get, picking up anything. She got, for those of you that don't know, Heather is psychic. Um, and, and that's what she does professionally, which is super cool. Um, are you? Do you think you're picking up anything on this? or? He's, I don't know what it is. I, I It was really bothering me that this shirt looks a lot like the Auschwitz Survivor shirts. You know how they had the yeah, striped, yeah, remember yeah, they wore yeah, the striped yeah. pajamas? Mm. And I was trying to figure out how old this was because this is what was bothering me. I didn't know where this was from. Again, I got this from a friend of mine. Um, the one that really freaks me out is this guy though. This is an, an old uh, store display dummy from like the 30s. Oof. He's all bendy. Um, and he was in an antique store for like two years we would go and he kept being like up in the corner of the shelf and he was like calling to me this one's weird this is the one that i feel has got something attached to it i saged him i blessed him i tried to calm his energy down a little bit but he's definitely this one's super weird too that's the controller for that monkey oh, okay that's how he's supposed to move his way that thing 
And I'm actually happy that nothing is happening with it right now because this just proves that we had actual paranormal activity with this last time and not like, you know, it was a gimmick or anything. So this place is legit. <laughs> love it. I love it. So it's super weird. So I dug this out because this wasn't even in this room with him. That's why I was so confused that he was moving the so, way he was. So do was. you think at, one, at some point, like when this thing could actually like, was new, it could walk or something? like? It's just... Um, the head you can make it its eyes go back and forth like it's basically a remote control car so you can make it like make a monkey noise it's got all the different settings you've pressed the buttons and it'll move different ways monkey um, close your eyes but this thing was nowhere near that thing and it, it has hasn't had batteries in probably yeah it's, there's no batteries and it's lightweight nope. right now nope so and earlier today I, I when I when we came in here you and I was showing you the room the, the eyes were closed and now they're open I thought it was closed when I came in yeah they were closed I didn't see it open. Whoa. Whoa. Well, we have heard noises in here, and I never even thought to check the monkey. Because mm. I'll be in here um, doing whatever in the day, clearing up, and I'll hear ticking and noises, and I never even thought to look at that monkey. You know? The monkey's guilty. It's the monkey. It's because <laughs> you will hear like, I always look at me like, what is that noise? What is this? Like, what is this? Just weird energy, bro, you know? Like, I like the energy. Down here, I like it better than upstairs. Really? When you're upstairs, I felt like something was like suffocating me. Wow. I know it's a bit loud here because of the mechanical room, but they do have a gift shop here as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. But what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna start investigating. Um, we're gonna see what kind of shadow figures we captured. So please pay attention. Pay very close attention in this video because when I was editing that one video, that's what, how I caught that shadow figure. So there's gonna be something in today's video, 100%. And if there isn't, then I'm just gonna quit. Hey, uh Mr. Turkey, are you haunted? So right behind uh, Moshi over here is the kitchen and that's where I see this like weird shadow figure appear from behind. You guys have seen it a million times now. I've done so many replays on it. Um, and a lot of people have actually like said, people that come here do investigations, no one's ever got it on camera except myself. They said they've seen like a, a shadow figure. And actually when we came in here today, I started to see something here and there. So. Okay, the ventilation's off, which is good. Recently I was told about these two birds. <laughs> these, these birds are pretty cool. Oh my God. Oh, dude, I literally just saw right in that hallway where the chandelier is by the stairs. Like, it, it looked that like one right there? Yeah, it looked like a shadow just going right through. Oh my gosh. Hello? Wait, is there anyone there? Yeah, maybe there's just someone there, dude. This used to be the main entrance of the actual house back when it was like brand brand new way back in the old days. It's a Victorian. And I just seen like a shadow figure come down the stairs and just go that way. Was he about the same height as this guy? I didn't, I didn't know. It, it was just a shadow. Just like a, it didn't even look like a person. It was just like a, a shadow of someone. Wow. You know what I mean? But I literally just want to keep my camera aimed right at this door where I seen the shadow figure right here. Cause like, I'm trying to see like what it is that I saw. Like, is it actually a, a, a like a shadow that I saw or was it like, I don't know, just, I think I was standing somewhere like over here and yeah, I don't see it. Dude, can you believe that this dog was alive at some point in time? That's, that's not a, that's a monkey, dude. That, that's not a dog. Why you gotta be racist like that? See what happened? <laughs> no, seriously, look at it. That, that's a monkey. Mm, no, it looks like a dog to me. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think this is a dog or a monkey? I'm pretty sure it's a dog. Okay, make sure to drop a like if it's a dog and uh, write a comment if it's a monkey, you know, so. That's a monkey right there. Is that, wait, is that, is that like a pig? No, that's a monkey. I swear it's a pig. I'm pretty sure that's a monkey. Well, I think you're a monkey. I think you should get your eyes checked. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's a monkey. I mean, that's a dog. That's a monkey. And what's that then, Mo? Come, come here. What's, what? what's that? If, if that's a monkey and that's a dog, what's So that? this is a crow gull. That's a crow gull. And then this is a... Crow gull. This is a crow gull and that's a sea crow. A sea crow. So what's the difference between a sea crow and a crow gull? So someone someone removed the head of this crow and put it on a seagull's body. I'm not even joking. And then someone took the head of this seagull 
and put it on this crow's body. And these are real heads, like they're not. Yeah, and apparently ever since they got these things here in this house, these things started like producing paranormal activity like on a whole nother level in this room. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be doing some investigations in this room as well. And apparently they're evils. So we're about to go up to the room where the monkey is and we're gonna put this monkey to the test. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're gonna see if the monkey gives us any activity. Now earlier with Heather, we got nothing from him, but you never know, we might actually get something now. So I'm gonna bring some tech in with me. I'm gonna bring my REM pod. Hey monkey, brought some toys for you. So whatever spirit's staying in this bedroom, I don't like it when the doors are closed, so. They try to open the doors and me and Omar actually experienced that door opening. So that, you heard that thing moving. You aim that camera right at it. All right, sure thing. Hey, monkey. Hey, hello. As you guys can see, the thing's completely inert. Like it, it it's not alive. Like, wanna bite me? Yeah, I mean, the thing's dead, dude. I'm gonna put a cat ball right here between this one's legs. And I'm gonna, whoa, that door creaked, yeah? Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. If there's anyone here, open that door. <gasps> stay, stay, keep the camera on it, keep the camera on it. We're actually getting a real activity right now. Stop moving, stop moving, because we're gonna miss it. There's, there's something like this. Hey, monkey? Or ghost kid? Dude, we actually got that door opening. I don't know if we got it because Moshi got scared. <laughs> so here's the thing, cameramen are never allowed to get scared. <laughs> I know I know that it does get scary. But do we actually that actually just happened, yeah? Yeah, I just heard I heard it and, and it moved. So I'm gonna close that door again. As you guys can see it's completely closed. Um so, oh already? Hey, whoever's making the REM pod go off, make that door open up again. So we've had no activity from the monkey. We've had activity from the door. We've had minimal activity on the REM pod. Now it's not going off. And you guys, we all know the REM pod. Like you literally have to be. What? Usually when you're this close to it, it'll start to go off. Okay, so look, touch. So proximity, that is so strange. Dude, the REM pod's acting weird. It's this room, I'm telling you, it's this freaking room. But if that door opens up, we are in for a surprise again. No? That's weird. Let's, let's turn off the lights. Stop, are you serious? Yeah, let's turn off all the lights in here. I'm gonna keep my light off as well. Oh, hey. What's here with us right now? You wanna make this door open? I know you don't like it when doors are closed in here. Feel free to open it. Oh, Keppel, that Keppel was just going off. Whoa. That means something literally physically touched it. You gotta to touch that thing. To oh yeah, off. it has to be physically touched? Yeah. I got one right here as well. Hey monkey, come to life right now. Come on now. Hey, touch the REM pod and let us know if you're here. Make it go off. Oh, oh, my God. oh there it goes again. Can you make my K2 meter go off? I wonder if something's connected to this like creepy clown up here. Yeah, she's saying things get knocked over because of this clown all the time. I want to see this clown. Oh, it's going off the ball. The ball's going off? Yeah, it just went off. Really? Dude, this thing is creepy looking. Mm -hmm. Why is it everywhere I go, there's always a creepy clown? Right? Like, sometimes I like to test theories out. Like, what if it was like our movement? But it's clearly not. Yeah, and you like you slammed it shut. Yeah. When we walked like, in. Yeah, the first time we walked in, we slammed it shut. I think that's a one-off. I don't think we're going to get anything like that again. Um, let's move on to other parts of this house. I feel very dizzy in here, I'm not gonna lie, like I actually do. Why is it that the monkey always has a, has a different like facial expression on it every time we look at it? What's his facial expression right now, what do you think? Like, it's like... What was that noise? What 
Was that like your movement? What did you hear? I don't know. It just sounded like something moved. I don't feel right in here. I feel dizzy. I need to get out of here. Yeah, like it cracked open, right? It didn't open up wide. But the fact that we said... You see what just happened? Yeah. You closed it and something pulled it open. I felt, I felt like there was something on the other side pulling against it. Yeah. Huh. Why isn't it happening now? Dude. That is so strange. As you, th that's not strange. That's actually, that, that just happened. And you almost closed it back and I stopped your hand from touching it. Yeah. But literally, it op something pulled it open. It, it was almost like a reflex, like, hey, give it back, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it looked like, like, when you closed it, it looked like something was like, nah, uh we're, we're, we're gonna, we want this door open. Yeah. Like so we're going to leave it closed and throughout the night, we're going to see if it opens on its own or not. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 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 we already got something. I got something like literally right, oh, right there. Near the, the baby carriage and the monkey. Hmm. There's literally something, that's, that was almost instant. <gasps> and it just turned really big and violent and then it went away. Whoa, I literally got something just now. That, did you see it there? Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Wow. What the hell? Hey, uh, Spirit, if you're here, come. Oh my God. Did that door just crack open? Yes. What the hell? Oh but there was actually something here. So I, I think I tried using the SLS in here the last time we were here, but I got nothing on it. Nothing at all. And now that the fact that there's something here. Spirit, you want... <gasps> Literally said, Spirit, you want to come back? And it came right back. Hey, Spirit, come back. Come back to this bedroom. Where did you go? It's moving. Something's moving. It's like creaks. Is it just me or is the monkey smiling now, like out of nowhere? It's almost like he knows something that we don't. Hey monkey, come back to life. It's, it just, like, it aggravates me that he's not doing anything right now, but at the same time, it means we were, like, getting something that was affecting it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if it was happening always, like, if it was still happening again, then you can be like, oh, the monkey's moving, you know what I mean? It's probably just the monkey. There, because, like, oh, it's literally right there. It's standing right at the door. What the heck even is that? Like, that's crazy really want to know what it is that we're seeing that's standing in here it's back now look it's still here mm -hmm. when i was here in the past with omar we never got any sls figures inside of this room like we actually tried and tried but i never put it in the video because we actually didn't get anything it just comes and goes you know mm -hmm. there's definitely something in here for sure Where you oh I, I got it what? oh my god mo did you get that I got it on my camera. What just did that? What is, oh, that's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. What if it like, wants to take a poop? <laughs> well, no, there's mirrors, right? The... Well, there's mirrors everywhere. Yeah. Hold on, let's see if we can get it. Let's see if it's, if it's actually in the bathroom. Hey, are you here? That's creepy. Dude, if I see like a, a figure on the toilet pooping, that would be like pretty impressive. Show yourself. Dude, nothing. Here, move over here. Let's see if it's in the hallway. Nothing in the hallway. I'm willing to bet you if I aim this in the bedroom, it's gonna show itself into the bedroom. Nothing right now. And that tells us that- It was there and it, now it's not. It was there and now it's moved to a different location. I want you to stand over here where, where I'm standing. Yeah. And I'm going to go in this room and you just stay filming from there. I'm just going to stand as far in the wall as possible. Okay. See if I actually get anything here. When I first saw it in that room, it was small and it was right by the monkey. Mm -hmm. And then I, I guess I realized that I was filming it here and I can see it. It started to get big. It got really, really big, like way bigger than I, I did. I was. And then it just disappeared after that. Do you think it was scared? I think it got like mad. Oh. Like it realized that what we were doing, like filming it. And, and, and I didn't like it. Cause right now we're not getting nothing. Sometimes, oh, it's back. It came back, it was on the bed this time. Where'd you go? Show yourself. Okay, thank you for your time. We're gonna leave you alone now. We're gonna close the door. We're gonna turn off the lights. 
And we're gonna leave you by yourself. Here we go, we're closing the door. See you later. Can you open the door? Doesn't want to do it, I guess. Right there on the bed, dude. It's on the bed? Right there on the bed. As I opened the door, it was sitting on the bed and then it just dis disappeared. It's almost like it got shy. Hmm. It's weird. It's almost like it, it's like it's, it's, it's a shy type of spirit.